guys, so I know I've done a lot of Castlevania content on this channel, and I know I've covered Dracula's Curse before in a few videos, but I have yet to do a Let's Play of the Alucard Path. Now, what's special about it is that when you go to get Alucard, his path is a lot tougher than Sypha's or Grant's. And that's my opinion, and it's also a lot of other people's opinions. So, I thought it'd be fun to do a little Let's Play. Now, the goal of today's video will not be to beat the entire game. I do have videos of me beating the game with the 10 life code, whatever. But if you would like to check that out, I will link it below. But we will just be playing the Alucard path today. So let's get going. So I'm always transparent, you know, if I beat a game with a code or not. And today I will be using the help me code, which gives you 10 lives per continue instead of three. I just love this game so much. It's funny because I think this is the first Castlevania game I beat and played. Um, I love the first one too. And Simon's Quest I actually liked a lot more than I thought I would. And I did a scripted video about that, which you can check out if interested. But when it comes to Dracula's Curse, there's just so much replay value. I mean, there's even a second loop if you want to get real crazy. And it's just, I don't know, it doesn't get old to me. I think everyone has a game where it's just always fun to come back to. Even if it kicks their ass, it's still fun. <laughs> like I say in my live streams, like, it might take me forever to beat something or to make progress, but if I'm having fun, I'll keep trying, you know? Aaron Plays is not about being a pro gamer. It's about having fun. Though I'm sure there's plenty of pro gamers watching my channel. <laughs> I'm getting pissed. I really love the skeletons in Castlevania. I just think they're just really cool. I really like the red ones. To me, they always looked hot pink, but I know they're supposed to be red, because I would call them Lisa Frank skeletons. The Medusa heads, I've learned, are pretty easy to dodge. If you just kind of, you know, you just don't jump. You either stand still, or just kind of walk back and forth dodging it. And you will totally get through it. There you go. See? Not too bad. But the first time I saw those, they would stress me out. And... Wall meets will be right over here. Boing! Yeah. Alright, let's go up here. Getting close to the first boss. I don't know how much of this beginning part I'll show for the video, but I figure we can start it out together. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up keeping this whole part. I was hesitant to make this video because I know, you know, not everyone likes Castlevania, but I was just like, you know what? I don't know. For the people interested, they can watch it. I like it. I want to make it. I gotta do some stuff, you know, <laughs> every once in a while that may not appeal to everybody, but, you know, it's okay. So I actually, I don't really like using dagger a lot, um, but for this boss, I don't mind it. Whoa, what is my problem? So I took a lot of damage there. Boing. There we go. That was very sloppy, but we did it. Story of my life. Okay, now I'm gonna go down. I like the down path a lot better than going up with the gears. I like the woods part. These ghosts are a bitch. Oh, that sucks. So, you can get a times two there sometimes. <laughs> but instead I got the clock and I guess that threw it off and I didn't get the times two, but that's okay. The clock is probably, time stop or whatever you want to call it, is probably my least favorite uh, item to get in Castlevania. It is helpful for certain areas of the game, but overall I don't really like it. Because you can't use it on bosses, or most bosses I think. So it's just kind of like, eh. I mean I guess I can use it on these owls. You can't! But we're going to get the boomerang cross thing, which is so much better. See, look at that. So much better. That's my favorite item to use for this part. I would like to get good enough where I can use the holy water for the whole game because 90% of the time you're gonna want the holy water but I have a hard time using it on these owls. There he is. There's my hot pink skeleton. 
Okay, so this is the part where you need to choose wisely. So up top, that's the Cypher path. That is my favorite path. I love using Cypher. But we gotta go down into the muddy, muddy swamp area to get Alucard. The music's really good here, though. Wow, okay, so having the um, boomerangs were really good here. I say as I'm not using it. <laughs> oh man, and I just lost it. See, I get whip happy. And I just start whipping everything, which is bad, because now I have the shitty dagger. It's not the worst thing to have, but I'm upset. <laughs> I'm not happy with myself. So right now you might be going, oh boy, is this harder than any other path? It'll get a lot worse, believe me. Fuck. Okay, cool. I like the axe. Oh, Castlevania. Always putting those cross items. Oh, we have the holy water now, where nobody needs it. <laughs> Every once in a while, they'll put it in a place where you need it, but it's rare. Oh. I hate these guys. So much! See? Getting whip happy. That's okay. It's fun to change weapons. Come on. So I lost a lot of health on those guys, which was dumb. First boss. I'm probably gonna die. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it's okay. We'll do it this next time. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. That was pretty awesome with that item. I kept sinking instead of grabbing the orb. Orb. I hate- there's a lot of dripping and block dissolving <laughs> in this path and I totally hate it. It's so tedious. Like it's not the worst thing, but it sucks. Now if you're playing this for the first time, I would definitely recommend the Cypher Path. Not only is it the most fun, <laughs> I think it's the most fun. I think it's like the best way to go for your first time. Um. There's some pretty mean stuff in the game, but that one's just, it's a little more forgiving. A little bit. It's still Dracula's Curse. Slime ball lettuce. So much slime ball lettuce in this game. I should look up what it's actually supposed to be. Nope, don't want that. I'm surprised I still haven't died yet. I probably just jinxed myself by saying that, but I'm like totally shocked. Alright, uh... I'm gonna go this way. Shit. This part is not as fresh in my mind. Later on it gets fresher. More fresh. I don't know. No! <laughs> See, I jinxed it. I said, oh, I haven't died yet. And then I die in a really dumb way. Oh! So I think the next uh, thing we whip will give us another whip power up. I believe it's after every eight hearts. Oh! Almost fell in the fire, and I did fall in the fire! That sucked. Ooh, this is tricky. Gotta do a little jump. Oh! I don't- I don't like this part at all. It's stressful. So here, I think I jump on top of them. Can I? Yeah, okay. Eh, whatever, we'll let that heart go. It's too risky. Do you think he's dripping blood, pus, or lava? <laughs> let me know in the comments! I'm gonna get all these like weird comments. Without a context, people are just gonna read it and be like, what the hell? Why are they saying blood pus and lava? Here we go, we're gonna get them now. 
Can you whip the fire? We forget. I think we can. Yep. Okay. Okay. We'll do this. So that didn't count. I mean, it totally counted, but we're gonna do it again. The first time I played this uh, this path, I it, it did not go this smooth. So I'm I'm very satisfied. <laughs> Hope I didn't just jinx it. Okay, one more, and then he's gone! There we go! Yeah! I believe this is Alucard, right? 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 There he is! Before he had his glow up in Symphony of the Night, he, he does look better with the long, like, silver hair, I gotta say. I need you to help me destroy Dracula. What will you do? Take him with you? Leave him behind? I will take him with us. And now they shake hands. <laughs> I really hate the mummies. Oh shit! Mmm! It's not easy to talk and play this game. I'm sure some people can do it flawlessly. I, I can't. Obviously. The mummies, I have such a hard time with them. It's because of the piece of their bandages, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what to call it. They're wrapping? <laughs> Get out there! Fuck. We, we lost so much health there. But it's like, I don't know, I have a hard time dodging it. And I know you can whip it, I just, I don't know, my brain does not want to whip it and it just tries to dodge it and it's just not good. Okay, so we're going to want to go straight across to continue on the path from hell. Lots of falling blocks. Cool, we got the Titans too. Uh-oh, this guy's back. Oh yeah, I forgot he wields bones this time. I'm just doing this and taking some hits. Aw, oh, I thought I was gonna do it. That was dumb. Come on! There we go! Uh, I didn't say it was good. I could get through it. So that's what matters. <laughs> so what's cool about Alucard you can turn into a bat and take some shortcuts. But we're gonna do that now. I think we have enough shit. So you gotta be careful that you have enough hearts. And then anytime you're a bat, if you get hit, you turn back to normal Alucard and you will fall. So you gotta be really careful. You gotta be watching your hearts and watching the enemies. Now hopefully I can get a whip power up. Most of the time I do like to be Trevor, but there are parts where Alucard just is the right way to go. Oh, I just realized those are skulls back there. Mm -hmm. God. Oh my god. We're gonna die. Maybe not, but probably. I don't- I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get past these! Go! Oh my god, that was so close. <sighs> I don't know. I suck at dodging the mummies. I wonder if there's wall meat. Am I missing wall meat? I might be missing wall meat. See, I don't know where all the wall meat is. I haven't memorized that. Hmm. In the beginning of the stage, yeah, but not here. So, I don't know, I'll probably get a comment going, you missed wall meat. <sighs> See, that's what's cool about live streaming. I can, like, get your guys' advice, usually. Usually I see it in time for wall meat, not always. Okay, so here, can I bat? I don't know, I feel like... Fuck. <laughs> so, in some places, it's like you can bat, but is it worth it? And that's what you gotta decide on. Oh my god. I hate being in that situation. Those uh, whipping skeletons, they're like not that bad, but they are. Because if you get into a bad situation with them when you don't have a strong whip, it sucks. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Fucker. Oh! There we go. No, 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 no! Come on, come closer. Come closer. 
He's not going to. I hate these guys so much. Okay, that one wasn't that bad, but sometimes they cause me trouble. Uh-oh. Frankenstein! And I don't have an item! That sucks. Well, you know what? We might be able to do it with just the whip. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> but maybe. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We did it! Yeah! Wow, that went a lot better than I thought it would without an item. See? You gotta have faith in the whip. It's a good weapon. Okay, so here is where the trouble really started for me. It took a lot of practice and a lot of help from my chat to give me tips, but now I think I can do it. I think I know what to do. Block seven is the absolute worst. So if you can do this, you're good. All right, and let's get an item. Wouldn't that be nice if we get an item? Look at that, we got an axe. Like butter. Now we gotta wait for the blocks to dissolve. Ooh, gotta have patience. This stage is all about patience. And it gets really hard to be patient. Leave those hearts behind. There we go. Now we gotta wait over here. Let's see if I can remember where we gotta turn into a bat. Right here. Let's not get hit by a block. All right. <laughs> it's so stressful turning into a bat. You can like save yourself though. Once you get used to um, turning into a bat, it's good for like saves. All right, so there is wall meat coming up, but I like to take care of these guys first because they're annoying. See? Annoying. Totally annoying. Alright, that was actually a lot better than it usually goes. Now let's heal. Boom, wall meat. Alright. Alright, so I have a little trick here. I think it's this block. And you can just whip. Just kneel and whip. Boom! Thank you to E-Tank from my chat for telling me that secret. That was awesome. So, that's like a little mid-boss. Alright, so here. This part sucks. Now, the first way I tried it, I was Trevor, and you just learn the pattern, and you wait it out. And it is so tedious. If you switch into the bat, and luckily we do have enough hearts, so you get one shot. If you make it here with hearts, you get one shot to go up. And then, if we die, we're going to have to try it again, but then we're not going to have enough hearts to go up, so we're going to have to Trevor it. So, I'm going to try to do this in one go. Let's see. I'm so scared. Fuck. Fuck. Mm, saved. Oh, we got to save again. Oh, okay. So, I think we're good. Then you stop here. You don't have to, but... Alright, I like to refill. Okay, and now we're going to go up again. We made it! But there's not a checkpoint after this part, which is very soul crushing. So, um, we gotta try to like make it there. Which is easier said than done because these spiders suck. See? Suck! Totally suck! Oh! I thought it was gonna come down on me. Oh my god. Oh! And we took out those ravens? Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Hopefully we can keep it up. Can you tell I'm like emotionally scarred by some of this stuff? <laughs> All 
All right. Now I'm gonna get the one up down here. It's worth it. Even when you're using the 10 live code, it's like, why not get a little bit more help? I would like to do a playthrough where I don't use the um, 10 live code and just do the Cypha path without a code. That's probably my next goal with this game, but I'm gonna need some time off from this game. <laughs> oh wait, I bat here. I think I bat here. Great, and we're gonna get... Right? See, I gotta remember. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Do you like right after I say, here we go, I die? It's fun. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh my goodness. Damn. Good job, Aaron. <laughs> Could have been worse. I got hit once, but eh. good old auto scroll. It's always fun when you're dealing with Castlevania stairs. <laughs> Let's add some auto scrolling to it. Why not, right? This part, I kind of remember what to do, but not totally. <sighs> oh shit. Uh. So one thing that sucks about auto-scrolling levels in Castlevania, you know, besides the auto-scrolling part, the enemies don't appear on screen until, like, the last second. It sucks. Oh. Alright, nice! Sometimes I get destroyed on that part. And I get hit by the flying devils. But there's wall meat here, which is good. I should have waited till we beat that guy, but whatever. I was excited. Fuck. See, I always take some hits. Not all the time, but sometimes. Alright, so now we're at the boss. <laughs> now this is a three-part boss, and it sucks. Because there's mummies. And you know me, I take hits on the mummies. And there's two. And they're gonna come out of this coffin right here. It's hard to jump on this ledge. Oh! Oh! See? It's like... I don't know. I can't be the only one that has trouble with that. Alright. So now it's the next guy. I know this guy I'm very slow with, but my method works. You just gotta, like, dodge him. And when he charges, you just gotta not worry about getting a hit in and just worry about dodging him. I'm surprised he hasn't charged yet. Oh, here he goes. So yeah, when he does this, I don't even bother getting a hit in. <laughs> I just try to avoid him. Because I don't have a lot of health left, so I can't be playing around. Serious business, Castlevania. <laughs> Come on. I hate when he does it like a bunch of times in a row. It just, it's annoying. Cause then I start to get impatient. See? I'm like, oh, I should throw an axe or something, but it's like, no, I need to just wait. <sighs> Ooh, one more. One more. Mmm. And then it's on to the last guy. There we go. Oof, my hand! I was gripping the controller too hard. Okay, so this guy, he's gonna jump three times and I need to run under him the second time. And he's gonna breathe fire. But I think you can whip the fire. And I might be I might be getting hit here and dying. Damn! That sucks. Oh, we just gotta try it again. Nice. It's always nice when that item comes at a good time. There we go, we got some full health. Hopefully I can keep it. <laughs> there we go, nice! Okay, so we have full health, we're in good hands. Let's try this. Come on, Aaron, dodge those mummy wraps! <sighs> hand. Ugh. 
There we go. All right, so the next guy is going to be slow, but that's okay. to hit you. Not like that. All right, so now we're on the last guy. Let's try this again. It's okay. <gasps> Shit, I almost, okay. We did it, we did it, nice. Oh my gosh, that took me so many tries the first time. <laughs> uh, that took this took me two, three, not too bad. See, practice. All right, so now I believe we are done with the Alucard path and we are back on the regular Castlevania three path. I think. Yep, we did it. And now we're back to normal Castlevania three. I say normal, but I mean like the main path, you know. <laughs> All right, so that was the Alucard Path of Castlevania 3. I hope you guys had fun with this short little Let's Play. I love this game. I know I do so many videos on it, but it's just so fun. Um, this went a lot better than I thought it would because when I streamed this, it was my first time doing the Alucard Path and oh my gosh, it was kicking my ass and it took me so long to get past block seven. So the fact I managed to do it in the short time that I did I mean, obviously I'll cut this down. I don't know, practice makes perfect. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.